I'm Stanley Brown. I'm the Dean of the Dalla Lada School of Public Health at the University of Toronto. And I'm pleased today to talk to you about our Doctorate of Public Health degree. We're the first School of Public Health in Canada to offer this degree. And it's a critical addition to the offerings that we have already for our students. The Doctorate of Public Health is an important degree because it prepares students in a rigorous way uh, to have a practical impact on the health system. So all the rigor, all the theory, all the other important elements of a doctoral level degree, but there's an unrelenting focus on how you turn that evidence, information and insight into the types of changes that make strong local and global health systems. I've had a lot of experience working both in academia, but also in the public service here in Ontario and elsewhere. And I know that the type of leaders that we will create through this degree will have a very valuable impact on creating lasting, sustainable and fair public health and healthcare systems. Hi everyone, I'm Erica DiRuggero and I'm one of the key people who helped to develop the DRPH program. It was a really great privilege to do so. As Dean Brown has mentioned, we are really excited about launching this new program, working together with our faculty in public health sciences and the Institute of Health Policy, Management and Evaluation. We are offering this advanced professional training opportunity in public health and health systems policy and practice. In the next few videos, you'll be hearing from our faculty and alumni as they discuss the need for this program, the skills you will develop, and how this training will benefit policymakers and practitioners like yourselves who are working in health promotion, Indigenous health, occupational health, health services management, epidemiology, and clinical health services, to name but a few. More specifically, in part two, we'll hear from alumni and local leaders in public health about why this program is needed now more than ever. In part three, our faculty will share who this program is designed for, followed by part four, where you'll learn about how the DRPH can have a positive impact on public health practice locally and globally. Stay tuned for the full series, and we hope you're just as excited as we are for Canada's first DRPH program.